Really, Rowan? Why don't you have your boots on? Come on. Put your boots on, buddy. We gotta go. The goats are waiting on us. Rowan, look at me. Please, put your boots on. Wait, you're scoring? Yes. Please put your boots on. I know that. Thank you. Wait, did somebody get the... Did somebody get the watermelon rind bucket for the chickens? I thought you had it, Liam. Liam. Liam, you need to come get the... You need to come get the bucket for the chickens. Remember the watermelon? Oh, gross. Why are you touching that? Go wash your hands. Oh, you don't touch dead things. My Liam, please get the bucket. Don't worry about the toad. The toad's already gone. We can't do anything to save him. Just get the bucket for the chickens. Thank you. It's so heavy. Uh, okay, I'll carry it then. Wait, Liam, we gotta wait for your brother. He's washing his hands because he touched a dead toad. What's all over your hands? Buddy, let me see your hands. The chalk. Chalk, okay. You're not supposed to get it all over your hands. Were you coloring your hands? I'm just playing with chalk. Well, how long does it take to wash your hands? That's need to go pee too. Oh, all right, let's go. These goats are waiting on us. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. As much as these little helpers can be great helpers sometimes, there's definitely, definitely some challenges involved with homesteading with kids. But despite the challenges that it may be for the mom, the benefits for the kid outweigh it all. And really, it's all about them, isn't it? All right, so who's doing what job today? Me. I want to, I want, I want to um, get the eggs from the chickens I want to get them. the, I can first. So we're fighting over who gets to get the eggs from the chickens? Y'all, yeah. maybe we could work together on that then, huh? Think you could share that job? Um, yeah. Okay, you think you can share it, Rowan? Maybe. Maybe. I hope you can figure it out. We don't want any fighting. I found a beetle. Wow, cool. Do you know what kind it is? Cool. Why aren't you scared of it? You're not scared of bugs. Yeah, we're not scared of them, but 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 sucking blood bugs that we are. Silly boys. Alright, I'm gonna finish getting these goat chores done and you guys finish playing on the tractor. And uh, then we'll work together on the chickens. Okay. One of the key things I think to successfully homesteading with kids is to get them involved. Give them a project, give them a chore, let them be a part of the force that makes the homestead work. When they see how much work goes into it, they tend to have a higher appreciation for the things that they find around them in their natural world. It's also a really good idea to have lots of fun toys to keep them distracted when you're trying to do stuff they can't help with. Are you all right? What happened? You fell in the mud. How did you fall? You tripped over the fence. Honey, you're not supposed to be playing on that side of the fence. Go get your ball and go play in the back. I have to keep this fence up to keep the goats from getting out. Come on. Get your ball. Baby, I've got time on the milk stand right now. I have to go back to her. I can't leave her. I've got to milk her out. Let's get your ball. Come on. And you go out the back door. Come on, Autumn. Be careful stepping over that now. Come on. Come on. Liam, come on. I have no time for this. Please. Let's go. There you go. Easy peasy. Let's go. Come on, Autumn. I'm sorry, time. I'm back. Let me finish you. 
All right, guys, you got your buckets? Yeah. Ready to go? Let's bring these chickens some treats and collect some eggs. Come on. All right, Liam, you gonna give that to your chickens? Yeah. All right, let's go around on the other side of the tractors where you can drop it in from the top. <laughs> so give one piece, just one piece to, to them. Good. Rowan, you can give them one piece too. Good job. Next tractor. Oh, oh, they know what that is. They didn't forget their summertime treat is all of the watermelon rinds that the boys produce for them. Good job. And you're gonna give some too? Oh, they love this. That makes them happy. Oh, give one to the ducks. Is there any left? Over here to these free range ducks. Go give it to them, Liam. That, that black and white duck over here. See, this one out here. Yeah, there you go, Margo. She'll eat it eventually. She's just gonna come back to it in a minute. You don't need to leave three pieces out for three ducks. We'll give that to these chickens. Yeah. These ducks don't seem that interested in it. This chicken coop seems interested. <laughs> Who's collecting eggs? Me. All right. Oh, you just put that in their water, buddy. Now you gotta go in there and get it out of that yucky water. Here, put this down. Put this down. One, two, Do they have duck? Do they have duck eggs? Are you going to go in and get duck eggs? Yeah. And also Disney one right over there. Ooh, be careful, it's muddy. When you go in there, don't put your hands on the ground. Now go, can you get those eggs? Please just get the eggs. Thank you. Gentle! They're eggs, they break. Uh oh, there's another nest behind you. Daddy must not have gotten it yesterday. Get that, those over there too. So we're getting about four duck eggs a day. That's pretty good. Gentle. Good job. Now carefully don't slip on the ducky wetness. Good job. All right, Liam. Rowan, are you gonna get some eggs? Mm -hmm. or are you getting them in this coop? Sure. Okay. I see right down there. Watch out for that little black rooster, the bantam rooster. If you use your stick to shoo him away. Okay. I'll I'll watch the door so nobody gets out. Okay. Yeah. Do you just see one egg? There's none in the nest box. They're just right there next to it. Just one. Thank you. Good job, helper. Boys, will you go pick the strawberries now? Yeah. All right, go pick strawberries while I check on the goats. Okay. Good boys. Lots of nice red strawberries for you to pick. All right, how many strawberries you got? How'd you do? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And how many are you gonna eat? I'm gonna... You're gonna eat them all? Three. <laughs> three? <laughs> you love those strawberries, don't you? 
How many strawberries did you get? I don't know. Whoa, that's a bunch. <laughs> Good job, Rowan. All right, let's bring them in and rinse them off and have a nice snack. So, does homesteading with kids take a lot of patience? Definitely. But the rewards are so worth it. The benefits these kids get from the food and the eggs and the milk, produce, and the time spent in nature and connecting with how things really work in the real world out here. This is the real world. Most kids don't get that chance and that opportunity. I feel very fortunate that ours do. So for all you mamas out there, happy Mother's Day. Keep fighting. Keep working through the patient struggles. Keep teaching them because it's worth every minute.